Hey guys, it's Alex, and uh, today we're going to be playing Mission 2 of Metal Slug Advance, this being the second part in our Let's Play Metal Slug Advance series, so um, let's get started, shall we? I've had a couple attempts at this level already, and let me tell you, the difficulty spike hits kind of hard. Honestly... I might do a little bit better, but it's the same thing as the first one. The only reason why I look so, well, not talented at this game, but just, I don't know. Don't think I'm really good at games like this, because I assure you, I'm pretty much the average player when it comes to this game, in games like this. But I've had my fair share of attempts at this level. I was, um... I was actually thinking about it today, and this game reminds me a lot of uh, the gameplay mechanics of like a Mega Man game. I mean, except like some of the key things like like fight boss X, get power Y, you know. But oh, and this card right here, level one armor. I don't know what this does. I haven't gotten around to actually beating the level, so we'll take a look at it when we get out of this actually in the next playthrough video I do on the third mission but what I was uh, saying though about the Mega Man thing I don't know Mega Man and Metal Slug to me seem like a very trial and error focused type game where like the more you try well you have to try and see what works and what doesn't work you don't do oh yeah and I figured out about this guy he gives us another card called D Shot Plus I think that means maybe like diagonal shot maybe that means we can shoot diagonally which would be pretty helpful in my opinion but who knows we'll check that out at the end of this so all right helicopter and tank let's do it all right there goes the tank oh yeah there's a new type of helicopter in this mission the ones that shoot just directly down and instead of dropping bombs the tank earlier though that I had could have lasted a lot longer. It just all depends on that first fight I fought with the, uh, with the you know, uh, what is it called, the bunker turret and the, and the helicopter combination. Honestly, when I first tried this level, that was ridiculous. Oh, and I figured out about a little secret down here. I don't know how to do it though. I don't know what to do in here. See, you can see the prisoners up at the top. And there's some dynamite over here. Maybe if I throw... Let's see. No. Because see, there's this wick right here that follows all the way up to the dynamite. I was wondering if I could somehow get this dynamite to explode. I don't know. We'll, we'll come back to it later, like on another. I'll like put like a... It won't be another Let's Play video, but it will be like a little Metal Slug Advance secret or something. I don't know. I'll post it later. I'll be sure to figure out what it does. Oh, and that boss can just easily be destroyed with just uh, some of your, those Molotov cocktails I got back there. And these guys right here, these guys with the swords, when they die, they actually, before they die, they pull out a TNT and martyrdom so the, that's annoying it's good to kill these guys before you even get to them because if you shoot them while you're close you know you'll get hit by that grenade and it actually does a good amount of damage but they also it's good to kill these those guys as soon as possible <laughs> he just he just killed himself so that works out but it's good to kill those guys as soon as possible because they send out this really annoying long distance bomb type thing I was pretty sure we were supposed to destroy that helicopter but it looks like it just flew off okay this is the actual boss of this level and honestly it's not that difficult it just really depends on how you go about it what it will do is it will shoot something that will stay flaming in the ground here I'll show you and then if you touch that, it does damage. So that, that's kind of rough. But let me tell you, it does get harder. Of course, because, you know, Metal Slug. It's the name of the game here. Not literally. <laughs> I 
I'm actually playing... I'm playing on an emulator, obviously. Okay, this is a laser gun upgrade, though. This right here, sorry for interrupting myself, but it is awesome. Probably one of the best weapons in the game, if not the best slash my favorite. Okay, see, that's... See how I told you it was going to get harder? It does. Here's what I meant. Shoots a huge amount of those moves really fast so you're also dodging them and trying to shoot upward and move at the same time last night I was playing this on my keyboard and I was like man this is really tough and really weird feeling on my fingers and uh, I actually plugged my PS3 USB port controller into the computer and I'm playing it on that and let me tell you it's a lot better I have the choice to use the analog stick, but I'm just using the regular D-pad right now. See, there's just so much going on with this fight that it's hard to even figure out what to do. Alright, we got the laser. We should finish him off with this. Alright. I just... I mean, look at my health. I don't want to take a chance here. Alright. Here we go. Time to move in. This is our chance. Okay, don't want to waste ammo. Bam! And that's, uh... That's the end of Mission 2, guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in. My name's Alex, again, as you already probably know. And this was Episode 2 of the Let's Play Metal Slug Advance, and I hope you enjoyed it. And also, thanks again for watching. If you could hit the subscribe button, that'd be awesome. And uh, have a good day.